trick is to keep any fish packed in salt ice or in a saltwater slurry until you're ready to fillet them. After several hours on ice, the flesh will have set, it will be much easier to fillet, and you'll find that you won't get so much blood on the fillets. Make sure you keep the bench clean and have a clean rag handy. Make the first cut just under the hard plate that extends out from the gill plate and back down towards the top of the head. Then run your knife along the backbone and down towards the tail. Work in strokes down towards the tail, keeping your knife close to the bone and saving as much flesh as you possibly can. Once you've reached the backbone and you get near the tail, you can ease the tip of the knife through to the other side of the fillet. Now it's simply a matter of lifting the top part of the fillet to cut through the pin bones and just run your knife gently over the rib cage to remove the fillet from that side of the fish. The final fillet is nice and clean and using this technique you'll find there's maximum conservation of the flesh but most importantly it's free of blood and that means those fillets will keep longer. Make the same cut as you did before just under the hard plate that extends out from the gill plate. Again, run that knife back towards the top of the head. Again, using your thumb, just lift the fillet and using uh, long knife strokes with the knife slightly angled down towards the bone, just run through until you reach the backbone, uh, just lifting the fillet up as you go. When it comes to skinning the fillet, the trick is to angle your knife very slightly downwards towards the skin of the actual fillet. Just hold the end of the tail and make that first cut just to conserve as much of the fillet as you possibly can. And then move the fillet in a sawing motion and ease the knife forward along the top of the skin. Uh, you'll find that the fillet's pretty easily removed. I always use a plastic two-piece container that drains to put my fillets in. Okay, so time to remove those bones down the middle of your fillet. Just run your knife down the edge of the central line of bones. You should be able to feel the bones with your knife. And again, now a sharp knife is absolutely critical to do this well. I use a Victory filleting knives made in New Zealand, they're great. You can also take a little bit of that bloodline out at the same time. I'm going to keep some fillets in the fridge for a while, make sure you store them in a draining container and just give them a, a wipe, you don't need to rinse them, definitely don't use fresh water to rinse them, put them in the container. Uh, if you keep everything clean during the process of filleting, the fish will easily keep 